What's scarier, basements or attics? I did a video about creepy things discovered in basements and it did really well on the channel. I think it got like millions of views, which tells me you guys like that kind of thing. So I thought we'd try attics right now. I wasn't sure if attic stories could beat basement stories. Then I started going through the attic stories and yeah, pretty sure attics are more terrifying. This video is really gonna make you think about what's right above the ceiling. My name is Danny Burke, and this is the top 10 scariest objects found in attics. Starting off number 10 now, we have the dark. This one was posted to Reddit by Ace Flores X, who said they found what you're about to see in the attic of their vacation home. Here it is, a Polaroid picture of darkness with the question, do you see him, written underneath. What? How creepy is that? Why is it all scratched up as well? It looks like they just kept scratching away at the darkness, or perhaps the person they could see. Maybe they went mad because nobody else could see the person in the picture. To be honest, I don't want to see anybody in that picture. I'm really hoping it isn't one of those things where someone will appear if you stare long enough. Perhaps it's time to move on. Moving on now to number nine, we have Voodoo. This one was posted to the No Sleep subreddit. The person who posted it has since deleted their account. Suspicious, but this is what they said. Okay, so I was clearing out my family member's attic in their very old home. I find this wedged inside the wall. It looks obviously handmade and its eyes and mouth are the creepiest. It also has a small pin needle sticking into its back. I can't make out any writing or tags on the doll, but it does have a small wooden stand underneath with some odd engravings. The hair also appears to be real. Check these pictures out. What do you think? Ah, what is that? What is it? Is that real hair for its beard? I don't even want to know. I think it's a voodoo doll, right? It's got to be. It looks quite realistic and it has a pin coming out of its back. I don't know very much about voodoo, but I do know if there's a pin sticking out of a doll's back, maybe run a mile. Moving on to number eight now, we have The Murder. This one comes from Reddit user Gobo in Outer Space. They said, while clearing out an attic space, I found some 30 plus year old letters written to my dad from his mother. She had died 20 years or so before. I read the letters and realized they were written to him while he was in prison. I asked my mom about the letters and she admitted to me that my dad had been in prison for murder. My dad still doesn't know I know. Okay, talk about family secrets there. How would you guys feel if you found out that one of your parents was a convicted murderer? That's a lot to deal with. Would you confront them about it? Or would you just try and forget and carry on like nothing happened? It's gonna be pretty intense either way. Coming in at number seven now, we have Backbone. This one comes from Reddit user Haplessru. They said, a girl I know went into the basement of the old house that she was renting and found a spine in the ceiling. It was an unfinished ceiling. She called the landlord and he quickly said it was a dog spine, took it and left. Later, she went to check out a noise in the attic and when she opened the attic door, a ton of crayons showered down on top of her. Okay, so let's ignore the crayons bit for now. I think that's kind of beside the point. Let's focus on the spine in the attic. Who is the first person you would call if you found a spine in the attic of a house you were renting? I think most people would say the police. You'd be very suspicious of your landlord. Instead, this person calls the landlord who swings by to collect it and tells them it's a dog spine before quickly leaving. Okay, and you're just gonna take their word for it, are you? It might just be a dog spine, that's fair. That's still quite weird though. But if it's not, they may have just helped a murderer get away with a murder, and it might be their spine next. I don't know, just my theory. Next up number six now, we have the attic. Yes, this one is called the attic because it's not really what they found in the attic that's scary. It's the attic itself. It was posted to Reddit by user Nukestorm. They said, there's a up room in the attic where I just moved into. Pretty sure nothing good happened there. Well, as you can see from the first few pictures, it looks normal at first, but soon we enter a room. The room looks like a cell for containing a person, keeping them captive. There was a small cot, a shelf, and a tiny window, and that was it. The door had a metal grate on the inside and outside of it, and the ceiling was a little over four feet. What do you think that room was used for? It can get quite concerning if you let your imagination run away with you there. Moving on to number five now, we have Baby. In 2012, Reddit user Soul Biscuits made a post called Mysterious Picture of a Creepy Baby We Found in Our Attic. Here's the picture. Yes, I think I can confirm that is creepy. Creepy confirmed. Another Redditor called And Every Breath posted some helpful
for context to the picture, he said it was from the Victorian era and added that back then a child gets very sick and it's obvious that she or he will die shortly. Before calling friends and family or funeral directors, the family would rush to find a photographer. Sometimes the child will be photographed alive and extremely ill. These are disturbing but mostly sad. That being said, the photographer didn't always get there in time and thus we have pictures of dead children. Well, I hoped an explanation would make me feel better about that picture, but I think it makes it a little bit more disturbing if I'm honest. Next up number 4 now we have One Eye Shut. This one comes from The General123. They said, I'm a contractor. Went on a walkthrough of an estate sale property with a customer and his real estate agent to inspect the house and plan renovations. I climbed into the attic and came face to face with a giant glass eye doll. You know the ones when you lay them back the eyes close. Damn thing was 4 feet tall laying on its side and right in my face with one eye open and one half freaking shut. I was a little weirded out. I told the customer to take a look. He climbed up and was a little freaked out. The real estate agent climbed up and jumped back down screaming. I still chuckle over that one. Well, I'm glad they can chuckle because that sounds more than a little bit scary. A four foot doll is massive. I think just seeing that in the dark alone would have scared me, but the eyes. Yeah, that would have sent me scuttling back down the attic ladder. Both eyes shut is fine, both eyes open is scary, but one of each, that's pretty terrifying. Don't wink at me, big creepy doll. Close your eyes. Moving on now to number 3, we have Monkey Business. This one was posted to the creepy subreddit by Mostly Grapes. It doesn't need much of an introduction. Let's take a look at the picture. Wow, look at the teeth. Look at the eyes, look at the weird bit of monkey skull coming through the top of its exposed head, look at the creepy nail polished fingers, look at the dislocated monkey paws, it's just pure horror, classic horror. I don't even know what to add other than to tell you guys that the top comment simply says, if it starts clapping, someone is gonna die, and I think that's a fair assessment. My gut reaction when I saw this is that it should be destroyed, but if it's cursed, I think the curse would just get passed on to you. I think that's why this monkey continues to be allowed to exist. Moving on now to number 2, we have The Uncle. This one comes from 40 year old Creeper, that's their username. They said, I lived in a beautiful Victoria house that was so spooky. It had been in my boyfriend's family for many generations. In the attic was tons of clothes from his grandparents, just all boxed up and untouched for a long time. I guess the grandpa fell over and died in the living room, and then a few days later the grandma died in the dining room, both of unknown causes. I found a handwritten journal in the attic, which was all stories of his uncle's adventures. His uncle would explore and chart jungles. There was an entry where he found dead cut up bodies of a tribe he thought might be hunting and eating another tribe. When I found a photo of the uncle I was so freaked out, he looked exactly like my boyfriend. They named him after his uncle as well, he always hated that. The family didn't like to talk about the uncle. He went missing in the jungle and they never found a body. We also found an old Victorian photo album of his relatives. If you've ever seen them they're so spooky. Some of the photos photos have babies in them that were perfectly crisp and their eyes looked glazed over. Since then I learned that it was most likely because the babies were dead when the photos were taken. That house always freaked me out. When I first read this I thought the whole cannibalistic tribe thing was going to be the creepy part of this story and then it just throws in dead babies in the end right there. That will always raise a scary story by at least one point. And finally number 1 now we have Separation. This is a short but horrifying one from Colon Rody on Reddit. They're a realtor who said one day they did a property inspection and in their words it turned up a dead body in the attic. It was a suicide. Someone hung themselves. Homeowner thought her husband had left her years ago. I guess he did. Yeah, I mean, I guess he did. That's horrifying though. It's one of those things where you think, how did she not know? Would you guys know if there was a dead body in your attic? I don't want to go into the grisly details about how you'd know, but surely you'd know, right? Or maybe it's not as easy to detect these kind of things. Perhaps there are a lot of dead bodies sitting in attics that we don't even know about, as a thought. Alright guys, that's all I've got time for in this video. Let's take a quick look at some comments. I've taken these from our top 10 scary British mysteries video. MLG Trek 334 said cough Brexit. Ah, I see what you're saying, that Brexit is a mystery. Well in my experience Brexit is a very divisive topic, all I'm going to say is okay. Hopefully that's neutral enough that I'm not going to get scolded by anyone for that. Safe. 
Next up, Lee Tatum said, Brilliant video, Danny. I love this one and the new series. This was a wonderful idea. I love how you guys are always working to make the channel as interesting and fresh as possible. You have done a great job, in my opinion, and I know that this new series will be as excellent and rewarding as the ones past. You are a truly amazing host, and I'm looking forward to seeing all the new videos. Thanks to all of the team at Most Amazing for the outstanding work you do. You are all greatly appreciated. Ah, thank you, Lee, for that lovely message. We always appreciate the kind words from you guys, but this one seemed particularly heartfelt, so I thought I'd highlight it here to say thank you to you. And thank you to everyone for watching. If you want to see your comment appearing in this segment of the video, then comment on this video. Thanks again for watching, guys. My name is Danny Burke, and I will see you all in the next one.